Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers once again it is Joy Toy Corvus Belly Infinity Time and again we have Panosiana Knights we have Knights of Justice or should be Knight of Justice because it's one and we have the Teutonic Knights probably pronounced that wrong but hey what do I know um so I had these came the other day but the it's a long story these came the other day I never got the parcel then a parcel turned up opened with the toys inside so it looks like one of the neighbours took the parcel by mistake, had it for a few days, then realised and returned it to where it should have been for me. But never mind. They're here now. That's what's important. So we've got how many different knights now released? Four sets or four different lots? We've got these, the Hospitalia, we've got the Santiago, Knights of the Holy uh, Knights of the Holy uh, Knights of the Holy Sepulchre, then the other two releases which weren't knights, so four lots of knights I make it if my maths is correct and my memory serves. Okay, so today is September the 3rd, no, the 2nd, sorry, Saturday, September the 2nd. Let's have a look at these boxes. So, Knights of Justice. Interesting that the box is higher. Probably not as long and as same depth. It's a taller box. Does look pretty cool, I'm going to have to say. Do quite like the look of that. I'm guessing they're releasing quite a lot of these knights in quick succession because there's not that much modification from one lot to the other just a few small details and so forth and most of the tooling is similar or the same so it's quite fast and relatively cheap to change from there that would be my guess this three pack looks pretty cool as well it's got a bit of weight to it nice heavy weapons there all got the swords I'm guessing the swords have these really big scabbards again and the tiny sword that goes in like we saw with the other ones, but we will see. I don't recall seeing the official licensed product uh, thing on the back before. Maybe that's just my lack of memories on this one as well. No, see, this one doesn't have it. So that is a little bit peculiar. Okay, I'm going to box to set them up. If you like sort of content, please consider joining, the, consider joining the Patreon. Free for seven days. See all the content before it's published on YouTube. So it is worth doing that for seven days. It's only seven days. Uh, it's a link in the top right of your screen now. Cancel any time in those seven days and not be charged a single cent. So it is worth doing. I'll be back in an instant with everything set up. Stay tuned. So here they are. They all come with a base. It's the black base, not the clear ones. The Knight of Justice, he comes with uh, three pairs of alternate hands, that they all do. He comes stand, they all come standard with right trigger, left, like this. They come with reverse, that's one pair. They come with a pair of fists, and the last pair is gripping pair more for the swords. Okay, the Knight of Justice, this guy here, he comes with this gun, which you've seen already. In the, I think it's the Knight of Santiago came with this, maybe. All the other knights came with this. And he also comes with this gun, which you've also seen already. And he also comes with a nice big pistol, which I've put in its holster here, which you've also seen already. And it is a great pistol, has to be said. Except, once again, George don't draw the barrels. And he comes with this great big, I'm guessing it's like a big Laz cannon or something. No, they never played the game which he's got on his shoulder. Unfortunately, I can't get him to articulate enough to put that sort of shoulder rest part on his shoulder, but it's close enough. And he comes with a sword, which is sheathed when he's in the packaging. So I'm assuming it's gonna be nah, a nice blue. And you see that it's such a big scabbard for such a small blade, but never mind. Um, we'll look at it closely properly in a second. Now the other guys, they come with that same, one of the same Laz Cannon there. They come with one of the same gun here. They come with a new gun, which is this guy's holding here. And come with three of these pistols and swords each. So this new gun's pretty cool. I do like this. Looks a bit more contemporary, but it's very, very nice. And they also come with swords, which are the same. So let's have a look at the Knight of Justice. Main difference appears to be in some of the sculpting on the chest plate there. Also, the head we can see is different. It has similarities and the pauldrons, but very, very similar. The feet appear to be the same. The lower legs, the knees, the thighs are the same. Um, so it's a lot easier to do lots of stuff that's similar and release it quickly because the cost is lower and production times are cheaper and lower. So it's... a uh, Cool, nice looking figure. 
And the other guys are all the same. I will show this first guy again. So it's slightly different on the chest, but the legs are the same. The sword appears to be the same as well, or mostly the same. They've got the little crosses. Does he have a cross? The crosses on his? Let's have a look. He does. So the swords are the same as well. Uh, but that is way too big for their pistols, surely. Their little pistols are going to be swallowed up alive by that. Oh, no, it's a lot. They are quite thick, so they do go in quite nicely. It can push further, but I'm not going to. Very cool. The fact that these come in the free pack and was it the Hospitaliers came in a four pack makes it easy for army building quite a big Panoceana force very very quickly in fact if you just buy one of each of the box sets you get a little force already but obviously you can have one Knight of the Holy Sepulchre which is the four arm guy awesome top right only one Knight of Justice and only one Knight of uh, Santiago but that's okay nice looking figures Our articulations will be slightly different on them let's look at the these guys first the knight of whatever i'll say tortonic but it's close enough they don't have the pauldron on this side so there'll be better articulation on that shoulder head oh, it's interesting sort of neck position so let's push that back in so with the head we do get a left and a right a slight angle that's up and down it's a side to side this shoulder all the way around easy this one easy too lateral raise this one is not far at all where this one goes to 90 bicep bend there's no bicep swivel but he can swivel from the joint he gets over 90 on is it over 90 yeah just well, 90 or just over 90 on both trunk it's a small forward backwards side to side he can turn uh waist is small but it's there forwards not great together because this plate here backwards is pretty good and side was sideways is pretty good too uh, the hands I should say are the same as the 40k space marines on a double barbell joint so it's good or an articulation legs sculpts are going to get in the way sculpted gets in the way a little bit but still very very good for their sort of bulky armor they've got forwards sculpt is getting away he's struggling on that a little bit backwards again not too bad it is going out to the side already there is a fine twist there's a double kneecap he's only getting 90 degrees due to the sculpt the feet there is a swivel there is a small tippy toe there's tiny dorsal flexation way too small already and there is toe articulation too uh not the best i actually struggled to get these three guys to stand up nicely so i don't think it's the best on them. In fact, it's probably just me being an idiot because they're the same or very similar to the other releases who are okay. Uh, this guy, his hand popped off there as he's holding, doesn't want to let go of his weapon, relinquish his weapon. Let's get this out. There we go. The Knight of Justice pop his hand back in again. Okay, so head is a right and a left, forwards, backwards, not really side to side much. All the way around on the shoulders, outwards is going to be terrible because the pauldrons. Bicep bend again is around 90. The hands we know there's the twist on the bicep, but it's not a specific bicep swivel, it's just for the joints. The trunk should be a bit better actually. So forwards is definitely better. Side to side and turn. With the waist, forwards is definitely better again. Backwards is not bad and side to side is okay. Hips, again, not so far because of the fight armor. In fact, the legs should be the same. Forwards, not great. Backwards, again, not great. Swivel is nice. Double kneecap gets about 90 degrees as we'd expect. And the feet are the same. You've got the uh, swivel, small, or should have a small swivel. There you go. Small swivel. You have a tiny tip of toe. Actually, his tippy toe is worse, but his dorsiflexation is better, and he's got the toe articulation as well. Now, the last two releases, the Knight of the Holy Sepulchre and the Knight of Santiago, their blue was slightly different from the first Knights of Hospitalia, or the Knights of Hospitalia, the earlier release. Stand up for me. 
So I want to compare these guys to the Knight of Santiago just to see how the blue compares. And it is... Ooh. Again, I'm going to say it's not quite the same. It is cl a close match. Very, very close match. It appears to be slightly darker on the Knight of Santiago. So maybe these new guys are closer to the first release. But the blue... No, it's only a small thing. It's very hard to make out on camera. And, and even in na uh, naked eye, it's a little bit difficult to see. But it is a slight difference. In terms of size, they're going to be the same. So we're looking at around about 10.5 and a half on them so they'll compare nicely with your other wanting scale action figures such as your acid rain world get my new sentinel who's not actually holding his gun properly at the moment naughty boy that will do and well, they could work in the same universe very different factions um but yeah a good release by joy to it again especially for army building these like the sort of style i like the style just not the color scheme i said that previously they do work well together and again because you've got like at least two box sets of model figures four and three and the individual releases you can build up this panosia panosiana army really really rapidly if you're into that sort of thing okay it's so awesome action toys i'm signing out saying please like share subscribe check out the patreon link in the video description below along with discount codes for some of the better one i think scale and other scale toy sellers and i'll see you next video soon stay happy keep collecting bye bye